at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a very different Dad Rail live stream on Transport Fever 2. We'll be starting on time in around about 10 minutes. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. is a safety announcement. It is not permitted to cycle, skateboard, or rollerblade within the station building. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting in approximately two minutes time. Two minutes time and we will be starting. Apologies for the slight delay to this stream.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this. Just check my mic is on. It is on. And welcome to this What Could Possibly Go Wrong Transport Fever 2 live stream. Um, I've always done train sim in the past and train sim related, so this is a completely different. Hello, Mum Ralph, walking Hi, behind me. Sorry. Uh, this is a completely different format for me, a completely different layout, completely different type of game. Um, we're going to give it a go and see how we get on. I've got quite a few hours in Transport Fever 2, probably five, six hundred hours, as Mum Ray will attest to. I've wasted far too many hours playing this game. Um, but it's the first time I'm streaming it, so uh, this could be interesting. We'll see how we get on, we'll see how we get on. Um, we are going to be doing all the usual features in tonight's stream, though. We are going to be jumping in and out the Discord server. Live stream, which is not working properly. I have no idea what's going on there. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. Yeah, live stream pictures in the Discord server. If you're not in the Discord, there is a link in the description below uh, to get into there. And we're also going to be playing Locomotive Location Livery. And we have a new updated game board. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. There we go. New updated fancy. And see the banner at the bottom. Locomotive Livery Location merch now available from the Dad Rail merch store. Link in the description below. Yeah, today's picture is provided by a train spotter from Berkshire, and I think it's going to be a good one. So before we jump in, guys, as always, all the views and opinions expressed within this video are solely my own, blah, 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 all that good stuff that I'm absolutely legally obliged to tell you, so I don't get into trouble with my boss. 40 of you lovely people in already, I know we haven't done anything yet, but why not hit that like button all the same? And subscribe, go on, you know you want to, you know it makes sense. So, let's do this. I've got no idea how this is going to go, like I say, but we're going we're to jump in and do it. So I've created um, a new map, and it's a megalomaniac size, massive um, kind of, yeah, very large map size, as you can see there. And the way I tend to play Transport Fever is I like working on sort of the hub principle. So I kind of have one central location, call it Birmingham or something like that, and try and have everything feeding into that and then feeding back out of that. Um, so we have like an East Coast mainline, West Coast mainline. I know the East Coast doesn't go through Birmingham, but we can pretend it's our game. And I don't kind of stick strictly to like UK stuff or German stuff or anything like that. I just kind of completely go with the flow, see what fits. I've got a few mods activated, but not loads, but I don't kind of heavily mod it, and I just kind of play the game, and it's it's my game, it's my rules, it's our game, it's our rules. So if it looks good and it works, it goes in. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is the principle we're going on. So, Barnes. I know where Barnes is. I've got money... Um, Infinite money as well. You can see that down the bottom there. So I'm playing without money. I do like to kind of try and make something that's profitable though. So although I don't, I'm not playing with money as such, I do still try to like like to make profit. I don't like to run at a loss. Um, just keep it a bit more interesting. So I'm thinking um, we're going to start with a railway line: Ludlow, Chester Street, Barnes, Weatherby. That can be like the the North Coastway route or something like that. Um, then maybe we can put a branch line in from Weatherby down to Southport or something. Yeah, Northwest Transporting. I saw Joe's Transport Fever 2 se um, series. That's kind of... I'm, I'm playing copycat a little bit, I guess. I know Joe won't mind. Okay, Ludlow. Hardly anyone there. So let's start... With some trains. Uh, we'll do two platforms, 240 high speed. We'll do standard track. We're starting in 1930. Um, we can always put upgrades through later on. And we'll plonk it smack bang in the middle. Middle, mid, middle, middle. No, we won't. We'll go slightly to the side because then we can put a side entrance on as well. Um, so I think we're probably better over on this side. Uh, something like that, me reckons. Oh, we got the cantinery in already, but we're... Um, we're steam train. Oh, Joe does it with money. Yeah, I find... I find early game, it's really difficult to get your money up. Um, 
I find it just takes ages and ages before you can actually start building railways and stuff like that. So that's why I've kind of gone... Oh, that's typical, isn't it? There we go. That's why I've kind of gone for the, the no money option. So, Ludlow. Where are we going? Chesterley Street. So I think we can kind of come out of there. Straight across into Chesterley Street. Down to Barnes and over to Weatherby. There's quite a lot of industry up here as well, so maybe we can get that running with passengers, then hook in some industry as well. I like to have a lot of variety running up and down the track. Northwest Train Spotting, unlimited equals better. The Flying Scotsman, hello, welcome to this very different stream. Oh, We've got Farnham down there. We could go Farnham. No, let's stick, let's stick to the very top of the map. I think that'd be the best thing to do. Uh, Chesterly Street will be our next stop. Um, where should we put the station? Should we go for the centre? Should we go for centre? Should we just demolish everything because we can? I am, I am doing for Chesterly Street what HS2 is doing for most of our historic forests. That's another argument altogether. Though. <laughs> right, free station, two platforms. We'll keep it 160 metres. Oh, go on, you're going to fit. You're going to fit for me. Come on, please fit. Please fit. Never mind. Right, we'll get rid of that. Now it fits. We'll put the main building on... Yeah, we'll put the main building on that side. Uh, we can put a secondary building in as well. Go on, please fit without me having to build any more roads and stuff. No, why don't you like me? And then that distance will be too short to get a road into it. Yep. Every time. Never mind, we'll worry about that later. Let's get... Yeah, goodbye town, Max. Let's get some trains in. Ah, uh, yeah, I've... Wooden sleepers. 140 mile an hour. 140 kilometres an hour. That'll do. So what route do we take? Should we cut straight through here or should we go round go around the long way? Let's go around the long way. Let's let's pretend we're a new railway company just starting out. Uh, we don't want cantinery. We will double track though. Maxwell demolish everything. Try and keep it as flat as we can. What? Do we have to tunnel? Can we kind of we can have a nice cutting. And where are we going? So, yeah, try to stay as flat as possible. So I'm, I've kind of got back into this game after the summer update. Um, one of the big things that the game was missing for me was um, dynamic platforming. So if you've played Transport Fever in the past, all the, the routing and the platforming was preset. So the trains had to go through the platforms that they were allocated to. But with the summer update, it brought in dynamic platforming, which means the trains will now take um, any available platform. So you can kind of tell them what platforms they're allowed to use and they'll take any available. Um, which in my opinion has been a little bit of a game changer. Yeah, nice tight curve into whatever town that was, Ludlow. And we'll put a crossover in as well so we can swap sides. Nice diamond scissor crossing. I think it's called a scissor crossing. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Excellent. Right, we'll signal everything afterwards. Chesterly Street. So we are now going... We'll sort of stay level. Let's just build the track. Level crossing. Goodbye house. Sorry Mrs. Jones. We've now repossessed your house. Uh, that's taking quite a long route round there, isn't it? We don't probably don't need curves quite that sweeping. We would probably sort of come back round and across the main road. 156 Andrew, how old is the class 66? I want to say 
early to mid 90s they come out. So they are certainly getting on a bit now. They are good old workhorses though. Good old workhorses. Not quite as old as the um, 59s obviously, but yeah, I, I reckon, I mean, someone, I'm sure someone in the chat will know, but I reckon it's got to be, got to be sort of early, early 90s. So someone Google it quick. Uh, right, where are we going? Barnes. I drove through Barnes yesterday. So we're going to create a branch line off to... Yeah, I suppose we could have a branch line going to Southport and then Watford. Um, we'll see. I've completely lost myself now. Where am I? Oh, don't you hate it when that happens. South of Watford Barnes, there we go. Yes, yeah, so I won't put the Station 2 Central in Barnes then. I'll put it a little bit outside. Demolish everything. Get rid of everything. Yeah, Barnes on the Windsor line, Max. That's the one. But keep it at two tracks for the minute. Uh, where are we coming in from over there? So there's a quarry there. Maybe we can hook into that at some point. I do have the editor on so I can um, I can delete towns and change towns and change their cargo requirements um, as I see fit. So kind of cheating a little bit in sort of traditional game gameplay sense. But I do like, I like the idea of kind of almost using it as like a model railway layout. Like a, a massive model railway layout where I can, I can be play god if you like. <laughs> Nice twisty line. I will do some beautification as well, put some fences and stuff in, but I can I can do all that later on. Um, what I might do with this, guys, is we we kind of see how this one goes and see what you guys think. Um, then I might turn it into kind of uh, a mini series and do sort of time lapses and stuff rather than doing them on live streams. Um, like I say, it's pure, purely experimental. We'll just see how it goes. Main road connection has been interrupted. Never mind. We'll get over it. You cannot leave Weatherby. The only way out was by train. That's just the way it should be. I did see in the news as well that the RMT have announced... Um, I don't like getting too political on here, but the RMT have announced um, National Rail Strike. I think all the signalers are going out and several train companies are going out and bits and bobs, so... Yeah, in interesting times ahead. Uh, massive crossovers. It's like high-speed traffic. And uh, we're going over towards Barnes, aren't we? So... Should we turn... Oh, we'll tunnel straight through. I do have parallel tracks enabled actually, but I don't. I always, I always seem to get issues with that mod for some reason. There we go, we have a completed railway line. And now we have to fill it up with as many trains as we possibly can. That is the goal, while still making a profit. But before we put some trains on the track, I think we should play a game. Ah, uh, wrong, wrong button. button. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Yeah, let's play. Let's play a game. That's, that's all you come here for anyway. You know that. It's all you come here for. Officially Charles, hello, welcome to the stream. No, not late at all, bud. I see um I see Dovetail are actually doing a roadmap stream at the moment, so View account suddenly dropped massively. <laughs> so yes, I'm, I'm glad I've got a few people in. That's awesome. Uh, okay, right. We're going for the third number, which is subscribe TNT. Um, you have the third number. 
Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. And we're going to reveal box number three. What we do now as well, guys... Mumrail's watching EastEnders in the background. What we do now as well, guys, there is now a timer on this. It's a 10-second timer. So once we reveal the box, you now only get 10 seconds to look at the game. Trying to make this a little bit more tricky. So here we go. Box number three. Ten. Oh, yes. Good shout. Sky. If you can get it from that, if you can get it from that, guys, you're doing really well. That's all you get. Ten seconds. Right, so we've got a depot in now. Let's put some signals in. Um, One-way signals, no. Right, we don't want those. Oh! They just love it when that happens. Right, I'm just demolishing the whole track now. Right, let's try that again. Yep, Sky. That's all we've got. Fristy Charles says, just Sky. Okay, um, I should, there's no semaphores on there, that's really weird. Okay, we'll go, we'll go for colour, I mean we did have, did they have colour light in the 1930s? Probably. And I'm going to be really bad as well, because I'm going to have all the trains driving on the right. Um, the only reason I'm doing that, is because I've always played the game like that, and I find it really horrible when I come to make big junctions and stuff, if they're on the opposite side. So, uh, one way, no. So we can go out of both of those. Now we're going to auto signal. Signal spacing, 400 meters. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go. Oh, where are we? Okay. I do like the auto signal mod. It saves a lot of time. Especially when we get on to making sort of four, five, six track main lines as well. Yeah, any junction or station that the auto signal mod comes across, um, it will stop placing signals. <laughs> this is quite a long route, actually. And there's our terminal station, so I'm going to place a signal there. Uh, auto signal off. Signal there. One way, no. Signal, signal. Okay, we have our line. We have our line, our first line. Stu, good evening. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Rafe, the train's got a blooper rail. <laughs> Crazy plays. I know someone that can say that name. I'm not even going to attempt it. Add continuity to the rigs. In 1936, a cheap electric train becomes available. Yeah, but the spirit of steam and all that, you know. Right, what should we have? We've got something that's not going to be massively expensive to run, but it needs to be something reasonably fast. 100 kilometres an hour, 617. Uh, 90. 90 kilometers an hour for 355 grand a year versus 600. So I'm going to go with one of those. What have we got passenger carriage? Why well, we can put Mark Freeze behind it for a laugh. <laughs> I'm quite tempted just to do that for the fun of it. Or Pullman's. Nah, we, we're six wheeler. We we'll go with some of those. Uh, five carriages should be enough. Um, I think six trains to start with. Well, hey, we have trains. Right now, we need a route. Ludlow, Chesterle Street, Barnes, Weatherby. Back to Barnes. Back to Chesterle Street. And we don't need to click on Ludlow because that is our first station. So what we can tell it to do is at Ludlow you can use platform 1 or 2. Um, and at Weatherby you can use platform... Uh... Yeah, why is it telling me... Could not connect all alternative terminals. Let's have a look at Weatherby and see what I've done wrong. So you're going in there. Uh... 
these are not one-way signals, are they? No. So why can't you connect all alternative terminals? That doesn't really make sense. Oh, the joys of transport fever. Do I have a signal the wrong way around somewhere? Um, okay, let's take the alternative platform out and see if that gives us the correct routing. Oh, look. The <sighs> have I not got these set to one-way signals? That's just typical. Oh. That is so annoying. Okay, so you're coming out on the right side out of Ludlow. Yeah, Chesterley Street, you're going through platform two. So when you come back, you want to be going through platform one. Okay, that sort of works. Oh, it looks like we're good. So now Weatherby, can you have both ter You can have both terminals. There we go. It's a bit fun. I found this new mod's a bit funky sometimes. Um, have we got trains running? We have got trains moving. I'll put some game audio on for you guys as well. That might be a good idea. Very clean and environmentally friendly. How dare you. Two passengers on that train. Lovely. This is going to be very profitable. Extremely profitable line. Yeah, Northwest Train Spotting, I'm exactly that person, <laughs> to be fair. You kind of, yeah, I, I, I know exactly what you mean. Someone screws up, um, then you literally spend ages screaming at the, you know, it's like, ah, you need to do this. Um, right, what should we call this line? Uh, let's just name it to keep it tidy. The Northern Heights. Uh, my spelling is terrible. Just call it the Northern Line because it's... It's in black, and the northern line is black on the tube map, so everything makes sense, and everything everything is good in the world. Pure lemon, choo-choo. Indeed, choo-choo. Right, so you are covering the whole town. Now, this is where we can actually cheat a little bit, because we can go residential, 150, and that will make the town big. Um, right, what have we done here? Weatherby and Earthlingborough would like their main connection back. We can do that. You can have a nice tarmac road. And I'll even put a bridge across the railway line. None of these old-fashioned level crossing type things. There's a very modern looking bridge with no supports. We might might just happen to just have to amend that. Beautiful. That that's a bit funky. I think we just start the whole thing again. Um Yeah, that'll do. We'll take that. And you can join onto here. The other thing that really gets me in this game, especially in later game, is um the traffic, road traffic is absolutely horrendous. Um the game I have been playing, I'm in about twenty twenty on that. Um, I've got X amount of... I, I'm only getting 16 frames per second in that game, and it's kind of got to the stage now where it's a little bit unplayable. Yeah, my earnings, um, Pig and Bob, are really good there, aren't they? <laughs> they are uh, excellent. Pure Lemon, I'm watching live stream and the 10 things you to know about being a train driver simultaneously. Why not? I feel like we need a little bit of branch line action now. So I'm thinking, do we go Weatherby? We could cut. We could kind of start our. If this is the north, this will be the west, won't it? So we can kind of start our main, our west coast main line. Maybe Weatherby, Southport, Selby, or straight down or Earthlingborough, Selby, Wareham. We need we need we need some branch lines. We have one railway line. That's not good enough. And then we can sort of go Doncaster. Doncaster works on the east coast because that is on the east coast. So that that kind of works. 
We can always put towns in as well. We can we can cheat and put we can just add our own towns in. So what we could do Yeah, why not? Let's make let's make like the Southport loop. So let's have a train that just runs from Weatherby, Southport, Barnes. It's not very prototypical necessarily, is it? But if we put I tell you what we can do, look, we can put we can we can be really cheeky. And we'll put like a tiny little village somewhere around there. Which gives it more purpose. So, let's put a train station in. Let's do like a, a little branch line type thing. So, we'll have a station. We'll have two platforms. We'll do this as a... We'll put you against the road straight away. So, you're about halfway there. That's brilliant. Um... And we have the station as like a passing point. Excellent. Okay. So we'll continue. We'll have like a single track railway. That comes up to Barnes. Um, how do we want to get into Barnes? Oh, we have tail lamps. Trying to keep it as level as possible. Level crossings are always good. Everyone loves a good level crossing. And then we can kind of join on. If we make that a double slip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a passing loop in up here because I tend to find what happens um, is the train will come into the platform and stop and if there's another one waiting to come this way that will enter the single line section and this one will snarl everything up. Um, so I'll put a little passing loop here which just gives the sort of stops that from happening. So now if we take... Uh, that is no longer a one way signal, that is good. We can also then put... A signal there. So that means trains coming off the branch can then come into either platform. Uh, we'll have a signal there. And a signal there. Laser jet farming simulator. Never played that one. I, I've, yeah, I've never played farming simulator. Um... Then we go down to Southport. I tell you what, we could we could probably terminate at Southport to be fair, because then you'll have a main line coming down from Weatherby anyway. So yeah, I think I think we'll We're plan for there being sort of quite a big station at Southport, right? Let's put a town in here, tiny town. Broughton in Furnace. And then Southport will have at some point quite a large station. So let's put um, we do 240 I think on this one and we're going to chuck it over here so we can kind of come straight out of Weatherby straight down to Southport. Um, and what we might do actually is put We could then put um, another station here, couldn't we? So we do it one track, 120. Like Southport West or something like that. So we better connect this up. So what I kind of do, guys, is get a bit of a network running. Um, and then go back and sort of tidy everything up, upgrade it. And sort of get it into sort of big kind of hub uh, territory. Uh, Northern Transport. No, I've never been on the Mersey Rail Network. I've, I've never been to Liverpool. Um, if I'm being completely honest with you. Oh, 
Oh, that looks... Oh, no, it's not too bad. That's quite a nice kind of parallel with the road there. And we'll join up. Why not make the Southport to Barnes line a heritage line? Do you know what? That's not that's not actually a bad idea. That's quite a good idea. Um, yeah, definitely for as we get into the future crazy plays. I quite like that idea. Uh, pure lemon. Yeah, I I got Tees Valley last. I think it was last week or the week before. Um, on the same sort of pricing structure. So yeah, no, really good that one. Um, so I think we're going to need another passing loop, maybe down here or something. I mean, the logical place to have it would have been at the station, I guess, but um, not always necessary. We're chugging along. Bluegrass, please look at the Discord. Let's have a look. That is the wrong Discord button. <laughs> Prince George is pleased and says hello. It says Smacks Rail. Oh, we're doing buses. Do you know what? We can do some bus services in Transport Fever. Buses are good. We can do buses. Uh, let's put the game audio up a little bit as well. It looks a little bit low, so you can hear those trains chugging away. Weatherby now accepts a new cargo type. All uh, right, let's get a little train running here. What we could do, I guess, as well, would be to, like, put a TMD here or something. in the future. Like I say, I like to get the, the outline, the sort of base of a network going. Um, then once the base of the network set up, and then expand from there on. So we should have a signal leaving the depot. Uh, let's have a little something small and little... Auto tank. 137 kilometers an hour! That seems pretty fast. GWR class 042. Let's give that a go. Um, yeah, I just... I don't seem to have any UK wagons passenger. Other than the Pullmans, I've, I've kind of got nothing UK there, which is really annoying. Um, let's go for those, then. Or should we go for those? No, we'll go for those. Maybe just three. And I think we'll have two trains on that line. So you will be stopping at Barnes, Broughton in Furnace, Southport Sidings, and Southport. Back to Southport Sidings. Oh, why is it... Yeah, this is because I haven't set one-way signals up again, isn't it? That's why it's doing that. And then back to Barnes. So at Barnes, you can go into either either platform... Brought it in furnace. Okay, so if we set this to a one-way signal, hopefully that's going to sort itself out with the routes. Um, manage line. Go. Well, hey, there we go. And where's our train? There's our train. Let's go for a ride, shall we? We'll speed the game up and we'll go for a ride. Whilst we're going for a ride, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, it's all pretty. It's a lovely little scenic route. If you do this in real time speed, it just takes ages. Subscribe TNT, no I have not had the Morbius meal from the Bingley Chippy. Should we play a game? 
Just what I was just what I was thinking. Just what I was thinking, crazy place. That's a long level crossing. We have to Oh yeah, you can do the horn now, can't you? Not on this slow coach, not in A. Right, Maxwell, you're the first one. Crazy players, you're the second one. Officially, Charles, you are the third one on my screen with number eight. Let's play. Locomotive delivery location. And we're going to have a look at this. And then we've got our 10 second time. There will be sound effects on the timer as well, coming soon. Any ideas, guys? What are you thinking with that one? Oh, we have the Brighton Bell, and we have aircraft. Okay, so let's name this the... I tell you what, we will, we will go for what... Um, who was it that suggested it? I think it was Crazy Plays. Um, it's the Broughton in Furness Heritage Railway. Officially, Charles says it's probably Wokingham. Officially, Charles also says Hiver Green Pad, but he doesn't know. Uh, pure Lemon. Um, one, two. You were fourth by my screen, bud. Oh, uh, you had Maxwell win was first, Crazy Play second, officially Charles was third, and you come in fourth uh, on my screen. Oh, someone else was saying you're fifth, Northwest Train Spectrum says you're fifth there. Z Block, oh, it shows up differently for everybody. Yeah, I think there's, there's quite a lot of delay on the stream and stuff like that as well, so that really doesn't help. Um, okay, how are these lines doing? Are we making a profit? That line is making a profit. The Broughton and Furnace Heritage Line is not making a profit, though, but that's probably not surprising. Um, so that is good. Right, let's try and get some freight running on here, shall we? So if we kind of set Weatherby to be our... That's going to kind of be our northeastern terminus. That's going to be our, our Glasgow, if you like. Um, so if we kind of... Let's cheat a little bit, so we go 250 on everything to get the size up of the town. Um, I'm going to say you you want to accept food and you want to accept fuel, because food and fuel, uh, or construction materials actually, because they're pretty easy to deliver on, both of those. So we put the game speed back to normal as well. Um, yeah, they're pretty easy to deliver on those. So we might be able to get some sort of freight running that, that can deliver those. Um, so what I like to do with freight is kind of have like a freight yard somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So like over here. Um, then I'd road vehicle it into the city centres. So you'd have freight trains coming in, dropping off the cargo. And then road vehicles taking it um, to all the different places. So I think... Uh, I think we'll go for that model. That model sort of works quite well. Northwest train spotting. What's everybody's opinion on 80s music? Do you know what? If, if I wasn't afraid of getting a copyright strike, I'd put Rick Astley on now and Rick Rowley. <laughs> right, so should we do it before the tunnel or after the tunnel? Um... It's a bit hilly around here, sort of. Maybe let's go... I wanted to be a little bit more central than that. Maybe... No, we'll do it. We, we can do it over here, I think. The Weatherby Freight Hub. Um, we won't do a double slip. We'll do a proper junction. We'll do a, we'll do a twin track junction. Although, if it gets busy, this may have to become a flyover. And we do a kind of... 
want a fair bit of space for this, so we'll sort of come over to here, I think. Because I envision I envision this area becoming quite important and quite big with freight traffic. Lots of GBRF sheds in later game. So you come around there, you come around there, up the freight branch. And we will have a... Uh, what am I looking for? Freight station. Two track. Um, it's got to be 320, isn't it? Nice long freight trains. Everybody loves a long freight train. What are we going to haul and how is this going to work though? That is the question. So we want to kind of try and use the railway lines that we've got. Um, so if we want food, food's a, food's a good one. So what we can do is we can... I say cheat, it's not really cheating, but... It is cheating. Who am I kidding? Let's put a road connection in. And let's build a food processing plant because we have the power. We have spoken to we've spoken to Craft Foods or Cadbury's. Should have called it Bourneville. We could have had Cadbury's World. We've spoken to Craft Food or Cadbury's and they've agreed to build a food processing plant here and that's why we've set up our railway line here. That works, right. I'm, I'm going with that. That's my argument. We're sticking with that. It works. So we'll link the main road up. Um, we'll also set up a truck stop. A big truck stop. And then in Weatherby, we'll set off some truck unloading drop-off points. So, I just hope we can get one that covers everything. At the moment, that is, anyway. Obviously, this is going to expand a little bit. Um, so, you cover more or less everything at the moment. So, road depot. Let's just plonk that down over there. We well, can make it look beautiful and plop some containers in and bits and bobs like that as time goes on. Um, cargo. 40 miles an hour diesel, all cargo. Uh, we'll just have... I think we'll have four of you for now. Now, this is not going to work yet because there's nothing being delivered. We need to deliver grain to the food processing plant in order for that to work. Um, but if we get that one set up, then when we get the trains in, it should be a little bit easier. So let's just finish the track work here. Um, nice double scissor crossover. I don't think it's going to let me do it because of the curvature, so we'll have to have a tight kind of zigzag. Uh, you'll be one-way signals. Let's put one-way signals in. We might not get so many issues. Uh, but you will not be one way to leave. There you come down the branch. This is the grain branch, quite literally. Okay, so where are we going to pick the... Oh, now that's an idea, isn't it? Now, this is what I mean, guys, about kind of my game, my rules, if you like. Because it's like, oh, we have single track here. This could make for some quite interesting timetabling and pathing. We could turn this into a triangular junction and have some freight traffic coming up here. And then maybe have, like, a farm complex over here or something. I mean, it's not a terribly long route then, but that I, I think that would... I think we'll go with that, you know. Hi, Deborah. Can you put your live stream chat in your Discord on the stream? Someone has a question for the entire stream. Um, no, I can't interact with Discord other than putting the, the pictures page up. I can't do much with that at the moment. We'll have a look in Discord, though. 37's beautiful. I do like a good 37, I must admit. Everybody loves 37's though, surely. Okay, so this is probably going to cause a little bit of congestion. But congestion is good.
Um, then we'll have a two track maybe. It's not particularly flat there, is it? That's quite raised up. Never mind. We can be creative. We can be creative. Um, so, signals one way, no. Um, so, you've got to come all the way up there before you can get to a passing point. If the trains are too long, the passing points are not going to work. So, we're going to have to bear that in mind as well. Right, let's do some earthworks. Because, like I said... kind of make things happen as we need to. Smooth it all out a little bit. And play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. I think it's time for a game. We'll plop some farms over here, and then we'll make it... I think we'll make it look pretty as well if we put some farms in. I think the farms in the game are quite... Um, we'll put one either side. It's like the farmyard stop. Sounds like something off the of play days, doesn't it? It's the farmyard stop! I'm showing my age now. I don't even think that's still a thing to play days. Too much slope. So a nice, nice sort of curved mountain road. There we go. Right, who's the third one on my screen then? GJ Barnard. You're the third one on my screen with number 10. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. And we'll give you box number 10. That countdown clock is going. Has that helped, guys? Anything to go on there? Anything to go on there that you can uh, you can pull out? Okay, so we have our farms. We can put some fields in as well, make it look pretty in a minute. Um, Perf luxury. I'd love I'd love it if someone uploaded mods or skin packs that allowed you to drive Trevelyn's armored plated missile train in one of these train games. Officially, Charles, clan line at Wokingham. Windsor Statesman, class 47, GWR train spotter. Northwest train spotter, WSR. Maxwell Wynn Shepherd says Steam. Could be Max, could be. Now, okay, so what else do we need? We need a way of getting our trains around the corner. So let's have a double track spur. We can use this as a holding area then as well. Um, in case the single line's not clear. I've got a funny feeling. I do have the timetable mod. So I've got a funny feeling we may have to um, think about putting some timetabling into this in a minute. So we don't get um, too many conflicting moves. You gonna let me do that? You gonna let me come out of there? That's a bit funky. We'll take it though, we'll take it. Oh, TMD's facing the wrong way. I don't. If I try and set the trains off from there, I don't think it's gonna work, so I'm gonna have to. Um, it'll tell me it can't find a pathway, so I'm going to have to do it the other way around. Uh, we want to be going to the farm first anyway, don't we? So that's... Let's just plop that in there. We can shove that over there. Yes on that one. CP trains. I really want to get this tr this game, but getting a new PC will eat into my model railway fund. I do find this game. It's, it's okay at the moment. Oh, that is a horrible junction. Look at that. 
that needs to be fixed. Um, I, at the moment, it's not too bad, but once you get into later game, I do find this can be pretty recent resource intensive. Um, one of the big maps that I'm playing, I'm down to about 15, 16 FPS. Um, I mean, I've, I'm lucky enough to have quite a good spec computer as well, so to kind of come down onto those those frame rates is, is pretty diabolical, to be fair. Um, right, we want something with a bit of grunt. That's not stupidly expensive to run, again. Um, flying Scotsman on a freight train. Uh, power, 746 kilowatts. I mean, it's not terrible. LNER Greslet 422. Interesting, uh, interesting wheel combination. Yeah, why not? Let's have that. And we want grain wagons, don't we? So what can carry grain? Um, we'll have you on 125 meters. Uh, we'll have three trains to begin with. And we'll have you going to, please work, Southport West. Oh, now we have, now we have trains. Southport West, and then Weatherby South. So we already have some kind of, these trains are not particularly well spaced out. Northwest train spotting back from Dovetail Game Stream. Anything interesting on there, Northwest? Anything we didn't know about? So I do wonder if this passing loop is now going to be long enough um, to hold our train, but we'll find out in a minute. And we'll get some construction material trains on the go as well. Sam Robinson, good evening, welcome to the stream. Unlimited funds, I must have missed something. Yeah, unlimited funds, why not? That is genuinely a really, really funky wheel configuration. Certainly an interesting looking loco. I don't want to put another passing loop in because it's going to spoil it. But at the same time, I'm thinking I might have to. We might just, might just, yeah. I think we'll we'll have it single track through the cutting. We'll pretend that they didn't have enough money to double track this bit because it's for a cutting. Um, And then we'll we'll hope that works. Hopefully that'll give us a little bit more flexibility through there. Uh, we'll put another signal in halfway as well. Working, it's going. Hurrah! Oh, Great Western Road is getting preserved. Update, great. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, that route does really need up updating, to be fair. And the 166 has dot matrix display on the front, finally. Order, unexpected item in bagging area. Yeah, we don't just love that. We absolutely love that. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. We have, this is called our Northern Heights line. Weatherby, Barnes, Chester the Street, Ludlow. That is making a profit. Which is good. That's very good. Uh, the, actually, the Heritage line's now making a profit as well. Look at that. Uh, these two have just started, so hopefully these two will start turning a profit soon. I think to make the game more interesting, it should be like every line has to make a profit. That would get boring, though, because I, I kind of like running trains for the sake of running trains. I like I like having really busy junctions where everything just kind of crosses over and flows and works really well. Um, inevitably, though, if you have too many trains, you don't make money. So we have that. Then we have our Broughton and Furnace Heritage Line, which comes down from Barnes to Southport. That's just one single run. Um, we then have 
the farm over here where we're taking grain over to our food processing plant here. And then that is then taken by road down to Weatherby. So how are we doing for time? Not too bad. Chest of the Street's getting quite busy. See, I wonder if it's worth running an express train along there as well. Probably not. Probably not at the moment. So do we want to get more passenger services in? I think we've got time to do one more service. Do we want to get some more passenger services in or do we want to get the construction material set up on the freight? What's going on here? 22 passengers. What do you think, guys? Should we... Shall we set up some sort of... I mean, we could start working... Weatherby, Iflingborough. Older, when I make stuff on transport food, I always have a long bit of stretch after a massive station designed for spots to see many units. Why not? CP train says freight. Yeah, we can get some more freight set up. We want, we want some more stuff coming into here. Um, so we get construction materials coming into here. So, I mean, we can potentially... We need to pick up somewhere. We need a quarry. Mutant Weasel, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Um, I've got about a hundred and some odd mods enabled. So I can't... Possibly some of yours. I really couldn't tell you, I'm afraid. Uh, what ones have you made, bud? If you tell me what ones you made, I might be able to... Uh, might be able to tell you. Oh, I don't want to double track anymore. I kind of like this single little branch line thing, but if it gets too clogged up... I mean, these are still quite close together. They're going to space out, aren't they? So... Yeah, we might just, just leave that and kind of let that run its course for the next few minutes. Crazy players, new Baker Loo Line timetable will be 600 services. Wow. That's that's pretty pretty epic, 600 services. Um, right, I'm trying to decide the best way to get the construction material line in. Whilst I think about that, should we play a game? Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. I've got an idea. I know what'll work. Yep. <laughs> My little brain is thinking away. Let's have some numbers on the screen, guys. So 38, you lovely people still watching tonight. If you haven't already, do please hit that like button and subscribe. And let me know in the chat, after you've posted your numbers, if you would like me to continue um, playing this. I'll probably sort of make, rather than doing it live stream, I'll probably do it as like time-lapsed episodes or something like that. Um, I mean, we're kind of a bit basic at the moment. We haven't got too much going on, but I kind of feel, um, as it picks up and stuff, I think it could be quite interesting. Um, okay. Okay, what have I got number wise? Okay, GJ Barnard was first in, Laser Jets second in, Rafe the Train Spotter, you are the third one on my screen with number 10. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Which we have had, so we go to the next one on the screen, which is Crazy Plays with number 6. Don't forget, guys, we do have Locomotive Livery Location merch now available. Link in the description below. That is your 10 seconds. Brilliant. 
<laughs> Any ideas? Okay, so I think what we'll do... We'll come out of Weatherby. And we're going to head down to Southport. Because that's kind of the um, natural route progression that we want to take. And then, where should we take the main line from there? Maybe down... I mean, if we go to Watford, I feel we're going too much into the middle. The middle of the map, I don't want to be doing that. Um, crazy plays, Woken Class 47 and Mayflower. Yeah, Weatherby, Southport. Selby's quite a turn off, is it? So I might come down to Watford, then sort of swing a right and come down here now. We do need kind of a centralish station which we can make our there we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna nick Fatcham. Nice big river there. So Fatcham I'm gonna rename as Birmingham. Um, and that is gonna be our kind of central hub station. So everything's feeding in and out of Birmingham. So this is not obviously not geographically correct, but that's just kind of I think where we're gonna aim for. Um, so then we can have express trains to sort of stop Weatherby. Um, maybe fast down to Birmingham or maybe have another city up here that we can put in uh, a bit later on. GJ Barnard goes for a circle line. No, not... I don't... I, I mean, we could do. I'm not so keen on circle lines myself, though. <laughs> Maxwell, I have friends in faction. Why would you make it non-existent? <laughs> Crazy plays. Thanks for joining us, bud. Okay, so we go Southport into Weatherby, which is going to be our main terminus station in the north. Then I think we can just run like a flyover and like a freight cord up to here. Um, then we can start running on the main line some freight traffic up here. So... Oh, I see what you mean about the circle line. Yeah, no, we are we are going to run south for Weatherby and then carry on down. So, I'll take two tracks up from Southport at the moment. Let's kind of future-proof ourselves a little bit here. Let's go for 160 track. We won't have cantinery just yet, though. But if we kind of go into the middle platforms, these can be like our fast lines, if you like. This is the beginning of the West Coast Main Line. Yeah, Northwest Train Spotting, next stream, West Cornwall local, local for sure. I just wanted to do something different really and kind of see how how this goes. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be finishing up in about 15, 20 minutes anyway, guys. Yeah, just just really wanted to kind of sort of test this concept and see how it goes and. Have a little bit of a play with the idea. I um I swore Dad Row wasn't going to become a gaming channel, but I seem to be doing more of that than anything else at the moment. Um, so we've only gone for two platforms there, which is really really annoying. But let's let's roll with it. Let's kind of roll with this whole. I mean, let's pretend like we're, we're completely skint and we've, we've kind of got to have this two-platform arrangement going on here. So we could kind of have all trains coming in and out of there from the Northern Heights line. And everything coming up from the main line. Yes, yeah, so we could still give you the option, really, couldn't we, to go into to both platforms. So if you're coming up on the Northern Heights line... You do have the option, but your preferred platform would be the other one. And then I'll probably put that a little bit too close now, haven't I? Yeah, we can't get round, unfortunately. Yeah, we want to give the main line some options as well. Yeah. So we'll have the main line coming out like that. Too much curvature. Okay, let's do the inside track first. That might be a better idea. Oh, 
lovely. And then we'll have the crossover here for the Northern Heights line. I'm sure that's the name of an underground line, Northern Heights. You're going to head off and link up over there somewhere. So we'll give you options on your platforming as well, because we're quite polite like that. It's just what we do. Uh, not on that much of a curvature, though. It doesn't like that at all. Now, eventually, of course, all these stations will have to be upgraded uh, with multiple platforms and stuff. But so how much traffic can you fit in? Yeah, it's not going to let me do it on the curve at all, is it? So it's going to have to come right back, unfortunately. It's going to delay the time it takes to get in and out of the station a little bit. Too much slope. Come on. Let me have it. There we go. Okay. That's better. Right, so that'll be your or your main entry point to the station. You need to be there and your first exit signal up there. Okay, so we'll join that up. Uh, we may need to delete this back a little bit. So uh, Maxwell National Railway Museum visit is the 13th of August. If anyone would like to join us at the National Railway Museum on the 13th of August, check out the uh, Discord server and you'll find all the details in there. Okay, so Weatherby now has a mainline type thing going down to um, Southport. Uh, that will continue down to Watford. What we're going to do for this stream, because we are going to wrap it up in just a second, though. Um, I'll put a crossover in there. We'll have one way. No. We'll also signal that stretch of line there, which it hasn't done. Try again. Auto signals on. There we go. Uh, and again to there. Beautiful. And we'll get some trains running. I can unpause the game as well now. Depots everywhere. Oh, don't do that to me. Come on, be nice. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Probably do that with a double slip anyway. And we'll have. Have we got anything diesel available? Oh, we have Brighton Bell. Brighton Bell, Brighton Bell reverse. So let's have that. And then I think we have to go and manually put the Pullman coaches in. Um, third class, of course. Uh, let's do it as a five-car set. Um, we'll just have two of those for now, because this definitely won't make a profit. And you are the new West Coast Mainline service. Well, hey, so line free, we'll call you West Coast Mainline, with the Brighton Bell running on it. Brand new depot gets demolished. Beautiful. Jack Weaver, good evening, welcome to the stream. So guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to get a freight cord in from the main line over to there. Um, then we'll get a freight service set up. Uh, no, we probably won't get the freight service set up actually. Saying that, but we'll put the we'll put the junction in. So we could be really fancy here. So we could have if we wanted to. Yeah, why not? We'll make we'll make a triangular junction. Why not? Because these back in the day, these were all the rage. Where you get to a junction, you can go in any direction. Um, most of them have been taken out now, which is really short, really short sighted, in my opinion. But what do I know? Yeah, all good, thanks, Jack. Oh, I've made a bit of a balls up there, haven't I? Okay. Right, you go back to the depot. Go back to the depot, please. 
Turn around. Change ends, please, driver. Try again. <laughs> yeah, then what we'll do as well is we'll branch off of here and have a... We'll do a flyover. Well, that track is not... That hasn't stayed parallel there, has it? Oh. I don't, I don't have OCD, but it'll still do my head in. Hashtag fail rail. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier, funny enough, Daniel's trains. Um, hopefully won't be affected by the strikes. Yeah, we, we are not striking. Um, we have no dispute at all or anything like that. But I believe the biggest issue is the signalers are going out. Um, I mean, a lot of the, the bigger signal boxes you can probably operate with managers like the IECCs and, and the um, the big power boxes. So I, I think most of our routes will probably be okay. Um, but we have to wait and see. Definitely have to wait and see. So let's make a freight cord off of here as well. I should have done the inside track first. Brand new big bridge is going to be demolished as well, <laughs> I think, because I want to do this as a flyover. Uh, we could drop the other tracks down. No, we have a nice, we have a nice windy, a nice windy climb. Goodbye, roads. Trains are superior. This is very, um, very prototypical, as you can tell. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Um, that's a nice looking bridge. This is Freight Junction. Just in my own little world here, just building tracks. Do some earthworks to make that look a bit pretty. Oh, pretty. I'll make it look pretty. See, it, it almost looks deliberate then, doesn't it? You know, if we if we just kind of yeah. There we go, much better. We could put some trees and stuff in there as well. Okay, we've been posting numbers. Okay. Oh, right. Sebastian Peters, you're the first one. GJ Barnard, second. Maxwell Wynn Shepherd. You're the third number on my screen with number seven. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. You might get the loco from this one, guys. You've got ten seconds after the reveal. After the reveal. <laughs> That's all you get. That's your ten seconds. There's there's a there's a there's a fair bit to go on there now. Nice freight cord there. Daniel's train says 35028 clan line at Wokingham. Maxwell says number seven was definitely helpful. Pig and Bob clan line at Wokingham. Northern line has 150 people waiting at this station. I think Northern line. Um, I think we'll have two more vehicles on that. It is profiting, isn't it? Yeah. West Coast Mainline, that is never going to profit at the moment. That is impossible. Daniels Trains UK Southern Livery. Right, let's make it look a bit pretty around here. 
Oh, why does it do this? It's, it's like wants to collide with the track. It's almost like I've got collision turned off, which I don't. Trees, trees, trees. Everybody loves trees. Much better. Uh, what have we done? Ah, oh, the main connection between Weatherby and Earflington. Earthling Burr, sorry, my bad. Has been interrupted. Uh, it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? We demolished the road. Yes, we had to demolish the road to make way for the railway. So all you want in the middle of a... Well, to be fair, in the middle of a busy railway junction, a good road is exactly what you want with a bridge. So you can get up there with your camera. Almost looks a bit too modern. There we go. It's a bit of terrain as well, just to just to blend it in. No, you can't expand there. Sorry, demolish. Everything's gone. I'm glad I don't work as a town planner. Demolish it! Get rid of it! Bulldoze it! So we do do, we do, do some beautification. It makes the environment a bit more natural. Although to be fair, this station will have to be rebuilt at some point. Line at Wokingham, says Sebastian Peters. That's not a bad looking junction, that. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Now, what we need is about 200 train services trying to get pathways through there. We've got loads of farming. We can put some fields in as well. Um, what have we got? Soil. Corn. We can put, put some corn fields in. Wheat. Not very not very square, are they? I do apologise for that. In the forest. Soil. That makes it look makes it look pretty. All pretty. Beautification is what we do best. Okay, yeah, so the idea is guys, what I'm gonna do, and I am gonna wrap the stream up in a minute. Before we do We'll do that again. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. We'll have one more go at that before we wrap the stream up. So the idea is we're going to get construction materials up to here, but we're going to bring them up via the main line. Let's come, we'll come up via the main line um, through Weatherby Junction, I'm calling this, up onto the freight spur and round here. What we can also do, possibly, is look at getting um, maybe like cross-country services or something in the future so we can come... Ludlow, Chester Street, Barnes, and then maybe like round the Weatherby Curve and down the West Coast Main Line, as it were. We can do all sorts of fancy things. Maybe we can put an airport in here and have like a, um, a service that comes over to the airport. And yes, the possibilities are endless. Oh, okay, right. Bluegrass. Um, no, sorry, my apologies. GJ Barnard, number 15, you are the third one on my screen. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. And we're going to reveal for you number 15. Which gives you railway track. 
The outside of the tunnel looks like Bow Peak Junction, says Max. I've missed a countdown. <laughs> Ten seconds has gone. We'll we'll do a reveal in a second, guys. We will do a reveal. Because um, I'm going to have to wrap the stream up there. So, do let me know in the chat. It's been quite relaxed and quite casual. Um, is this something you'd like me to do alongside the train... Um, it won't replace the train sim content, but is this something you'd like me to do alongside the train sim content? I, I was thinking this would be better as sort of maybe time-lapsed footage um, in sort of like half an hour episode segments. So yeah, do let me know your thoughts. I'll be really interested to sort of hear um, if you like this sort of content, if you'd like me to carry on doing it. First time I've done anything like this sort of gaming that's not train sim. So yeah, really interested to hear, hear your... Um, Really interested to hear your feedback on that in the chat. That would be awesome. If you haven't already as well, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be brilliant. I used to follow a YouTuber called um, Geekism. And his motto was creative gaming for grown-ups. Because um, alongside Transport Fever, I also play City Skylines, Planet Coaster, uh, Two Point Hospital. I've spent a few hours in that recently as well, which takes me back to my youth playing uh, playing theme hospital <laughs> so <laughs> yeah all good stuff but i don't know if geekism still jaunty from geekism still making videos is any, does anybody follow geekism there we go i'm getting completely off track i need to wrap this up because <laughs> i have stuff to do yeah no guys that's that's really good feedback in the chat there so um yeah i will uh, i will save this game what should we call it? Let's call it the, the, the dad round map. Save, 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 save. And we'll call it dad round map. Backup. Always make two save files just in case. Especially when I'm doing something for streaming. Or recording. Definitely want to be making two. No, that is awesome. Okay. What I will do... What I will do is I will show you my my personal map that I've been working on. The one where I said I've got ridiculously low frame rates. Um, so you can see what I've been working on over there. We will do a reveal now on our very popular game. Let's play Locomotive Delivery Location. I think a few of you got this one right. So thank you very much to Trainspot from Berkshire. This is the new locomotive livery location game screen um, that we've got up now. So um, gives you the name of the person that done it. And I think it just looks a bit tidier. I'm going to be updating all of the um, the streams stream screens to this kind of colour scheme and format. I just think it looks a lot lot tidier. Got some new sound effects coming for locomotive location livery as well, which should be quite. Uh, Quite interesting. And don't forget, we do have Locomotive Livery Location merch available. And there is a link in the description below to that. So let's have a reveal when I find the right button. Which one is it? Um, that one. Too many buttons. There you go. Congratulations to everybody who got it correct. Clan Line, BR Green. I've got BR Green. I think it's BR Green. It might be Southern Railway. Um, at Wokingham. See, these new screens... These new screens, you even get a nice little kind of, you get a nice little kind of thing at the bottom that tells you what it is and everything. It's all, it's all well programmed and well thought out. Honestly, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, if you do want to send me any photos, guys, for locomotive location livery, that would be brilliant. I am running a bit low on photos now. Um, I need to dip into my personal collection, but they're all sort of pretty much down in the south and southeast. So there's a. Uh, like a light bit of variety, a bit of stuff from the Midlands and up north in Scotland would be awesome. But I'll, I'll take anything you've got. Anything you want to want to submit would be brilliant. So you can send those over to me on Discord and there's an invitation link in the description below. It would be brilliant to see you over there. Uh, if you're not on a Discord server, then um, like I say, it would be really good to see you. We've got a really good diary section with railway staff um, giving details of their day-to-day -day life and stuff like that. So it would be yeah, great to have you over there. Or you can send pictures to me or indeed check out my social media channels which are on the screen right there for you now um we do play locomotive location livery over on the social media channels from time to time um it should be a weekly thing i've just run out of pictures at the moment so we should be playing that weekly and we're also going to be playing ultimate locomotive location livery which will be a board with a hundred squares on it to be revealed 
a new one revealed every week. So uh, that is all coming up. So just before we finish up, I am going to show you my... It's still loading. It's ridiculous. I'm going to kind of show you my personal game map to sort of give you some idea of what my my vision is and kind of how I play the game and, and, and bits and bobs. Jay, have you done any of the American freight train levels? I'm only asking because I'm having trouble with the brakes. Yes, yeah, funny you should say that, Jay. I've when I done Sherman, I've seen you mean Train Sim World. When I done Sherman Hill, um, I got it up the hill right, but I couldn't get it to stop going down the hill. It was just, yeah. Um, I think you have to bail off the independent brake, and there's a couple of other bits you need to do. Um, but yeah, I've I've had a few issues with the the um, the brakes on the American stuff. Bowen Potato, hello. We are um, we are just finishing up, I'm afraid, bud. But you're you're very welcome to the stream. I've not seen your username here before, so if you are a new subscriber, then uh, welcome. Great to have you here. We are just loading up a a safe game just so I can kind of show off what I've been working on behind the scenes. But Transport Fever Two does not have the best load times in the world. Um, like I said, I I do have a pretty decent spec computer. Um, and even so, my, my frame rates are like 15, 16 FPS on this level, and the load times are really bad. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I promise. It, while, you, while you're waiting, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. We have a dark screen. My, my cats are in the cupboard next to me, scratching away. Yeah, Jay, the three different types of brakes it has in it. I know it's got like the um has got the dynamic brake, the independent brake, and the train brake. Reese Roberts Transportation, I had to look at this game, but it's far too expensive. Right, wait, let's put that back to normal speed. So I'm getting 30 FPS at the moment. What year are we in? 2017. Bowen Potato, I followed you for a while here and there, just getting nervous about my assessment day on Friday for London Underground. Fantastic, bud. Assessment day for London Underground. Good luck with it. Wish you all the best. What is that for? Um, is that for driving or? Okay, guys. So this this is this is kind of where I'm at with this level at the moment. So I've got my similar sort of principle to what we're doing. So this is like my my West Coast Main Line, if you like. We have cross-country voyagers running somewhere through the trees. Um, and I've got mine listed as London, but we'll go for Birmingham so we're not being southern-centric. Worthing, Skegness, four-track mainline all the way down, Erif, Newquay. And then when we get to Darwin... We get this lovely big station and the sort of what I call the metro services start then going into London. So we've got Darwin Docks. Where we've got boat services over from Needham Market. Gateshead, St Blaise, Great Torrington. And then London Airport. Heathrow, London, call it what you like. Also got lines going off, sort of in all directions. So, sort of when you get down this end of the map, you get the fast services coming up from the north. Don't stop at these little stations. Um, when you get to Darwin, that's where the metro services start. So you then end up with extra tracks, extra stopping services, trains everywhere, um, freight trains everywhere as well, as you can see. And then we come round the corner. I've had to put motorways in because it's got too busy. Um, round the corner. You then have the East Coast Main Line coming in from over there, which has got freight traffic on it as well. That's GBR 66 there. And let's see what I said. It's not country specific. We've got some Deutsche Bahn stuff running there as well, sort of some of the metro services. And then we come down into Wilsdon, where everything starts getting. This is where my frame rate will tank. 15 FPS I'm putting at the moment, which is not too bad. So yes, yeah, so we end up with kind of all of the mainline services coming through here. Um, we've got freight loops coming down to the side here. 
So all of the mainline services kind of curve around, come into London Station, and then out the other side, which I haven't finished working on yet. Um, then a freight service is kind of coming from over here. And there's a little bit of everything going everywhere. You've got Thameslink there, look. So Thameslink's dropping over everything. That'll drop underground in a minute. We'll go for a quick ride with Thameslink. Very close. Yeah, Boeing Potato, the game is cool when you have a big network working properly. That's exactly what I want to go for on the street. It's, it's large network, hopefully working properly, everything pretty integrated on a, met, on a massive map. Um, for as long as the computer can hold out for, that's, that's the kind of key thing. Um, the, the game, once you start getting big networks and later gameplay, the game doesn't seem to like it so much. Yeah, we'll pop up the other side of London. But I do find it when you've got big networks and it's all running. Um, Lord Princess, last time I saw this you were in 1936. That might that might have been the previous one, I've just jumped into a different save. Yeah, so there we go. We've come out of the tunnels into whatever station that is. Uh, Alexandra Road. Bermondsey. Woolwich. So, obviously, I've put all these towns in extra to kind of give it extra effect. But, yeah, when, when you've got nice big junctions like that and everything's kind of working properly and you can sit back and watch the trains go past, it's, it's quite satisfying. Um, yeah, the frame rate really takes Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the... The vision I want to go for with the one in the stream. Um, hopefully, extend it a bit, a bit further and get everything sort of working nicely. Um, like I say, as long as, long as the computer survives and the frame rate doesn't drop too much, then we should be alright. But yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of where we're at. So, there we go, guys. Right. Um, I told my wife I was going to finish streaming at half nine, and it's now five past ten. And I've been a bit naughty because I have a 2 a.m. alarm call as well. So. <laughs> Uh, Northwest Train Spotting, yeah, none of the maps are available for download at the moment, but I I can certainly put them on the put them on the workshop at some point. No reason at all why I can't do that. But yeah, if you haven't already, guys, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. Let me know in the um, in the live chat or in the comments on the video as well if you want. I mean, I, I think I am going to carry on doing these videos as well as the train sim stuff. Um, so yeah, just any any feedback you've got or anything like that would be absolutely awesome. So I am going to press the button there. I am going to thank you um, all very much for watching. Much appreciated. Don't forget the merch store is now live as well. Social media channels on screen now. Check out the Discord and hope to see you in the next.